Hi guys, I do actually have a haul for you today, but I thought I'd just talk quickly about hay. And um, I've had a lot of problems with hay recently, so I was just going to talk a bit about it to give you all a warning and ask you to check your hay before you give it to your pets. Because I did an order off of Farm and Pet Place for four bags of the meadow hay, which isn't this, it's the hay that I normally get. And um, all four bags were actually really damp and they smelt really damp and um, so I rang them up and explained and they were very nice about it and sent me four replacement bags. But um, I checked those bags and they were also damp. So in the meantime I had no hay so I went to a different pet shop, um, like a local one that doesn't really, I'm not sure what the name is actually, and bought um, a different type of hay which was Devonshire something and that hay was damp as well so I had absolutely no hay and all of it was damp but um, Farm and Pet Place were really nice about it and they came to collect the other four bags um, and I'm not sure whether they're going to try and replace them or whether I'm going to get a refund I haven't really spoken to them about it yet but um, so I went to Pets Corner and thought right I really really need some hay so I find this and in the shop I actually made a hole in the bag um, just to smell it to see if it was damp because I was in desperate need of hay and nine bags I bought that were all damp so I think it's just been a really really bad year for farmers and um, because the weather's been really pants in the UK it's just rained on all the hay so it's been packaged up damp but um, you can't feed your animals damp hay because um, it gives off spores, um, like mould spores, which can be really bad for their respiratory systems. Um, so yeah, please check your hay before you give it to your pets. But this is one I found which finally isn't damp, which is really, really good because I was getting a little bit worried. And um, for a couple of days they had to have ready grass instead of hay. And I don't like feeding them ready grass instead. I think they should always have a constant supply of hay and ready grass should be like an optional thing but um, they did have a couple days where I didn't have any hay to feed them which was a bit of a worry but I finally got some now and hopefully all the other stuff's going to be sorted out but I just wanted to give you a little warning really just to say please check your hay because it is a really bad year for hay this time and um, please check it before you give it to your pets so while I'm on about pets corner this is the things I picked up. Um, I've gone on about this already, but um, it is actually really nice. I've never tried this hay before. I normally use either meadow hay or burgess, different types of herbage, but this is actually really nice. It's got thicker bits in it, but it's quite soft and green, and they seem to really like it, but I think that's probably just because they, they're glad to have hay again, to be honest. Um, and then I bought some more Burgess XL and this is one with mint, it seems to be really really random which one I can get so I sort of switch between the two so I mix them all together so I've got a bag of um, the other one in there and I mix them all together so then if I can ever get one and not the other they're used to both of them so I can sort of go either way with it and um, Pets Corner is actually really expensive that was £6.49 which is quite a lot for a two kilogram bag I think yeah I'm sure it's two kilograms and um, I only picked up one treat for the pets because um, I don't have much money at the moment um, so I didn't want to splash out too much I just wanted to get like the essentials but um, I've been looking out for these for quite a while because Gizmo and Jafar are huge chewers and also when I'm sweeping like spot cleaning them um, Gizmo tries to eat the bristles on the brush so I thought that would be perfect for him because he can actually eat it because um, yeah the ones on the um, dustpan and brush are plastic and he can't really eat it but he tries <laughs> so I thought this would be really nice for him and that was £2.99 which is quite a lot I was going to get one for each set of guinea pigs but then it would be £6 for two toys which is quite a lot of money uh, but I thought Gizmo and Jafar, ooh, they'd get the most out of it because they are big chewers, unlike these two. So that's just what I picked up at Pets Corner, just a couple of things. 
And then on to my Wilkinson's order. I did an order because I wanted to get some more hay and also some this um, Back to Nature potty litter is quite expensive so I only use it occasionally and then when I'm a bit more hard up I use Wilkinson's um, wood pellet cat litter so it's not scented or anything it's just um, wood pellets so I got some of that and I also got some topsoil because I need to clean Sheldon out and um, his tortoise table, he's on a 50-50 mix of topsoil and play sand. So um, I needed to do an order anyway. And um, because I don't drive, um, I had to get it delivered. So I thought I'd get a few more things while I was at it. And um, I think I ended up getting a bit more than I meant to. But never mind. <laughs> so the first thing I got isn't really pet related. But I'll probably end up keeping pet things in it. And it was just this... Um, folder for 80p which I thought was oops really really good and um, I'll probably end up keeping invoices and things in it but I thought I'd just show you that one really quickly and then for a pound I just got this mixed loose leaf lettuce that's a bit of a mouthful and um, I've been growing quite a lot of things recently for Sheldon especially because um, you can't find many weeds in the winter so I've been growing him quite a few things in pots downstairs so I thought I'd grow some lettuce for the bunnies and the guinea pigs and things. And I'm sure that doesn't have iceberg in it. Um, I did have a quick look at the back. And Ollie is popcorning. <laughs> so I just picked that up because it was only a pound. I then picked up two of these paper flake pet bedding. Um, which I use for a nesting material for my hamsters. And it's only a pound for a bag. And I've just realised that it's normally just this blue, but it's got purple in as well, which is really fun. So I'm quite pleased with that. But I did just split the bag open, and it's gone everywhere. And um, it's quite hard to sweep off the floor, which is a bit of a pain. <laughs> so probably should have been a bit more careful with that. But it's only a pound, so I picked up two of them. I then picked up, it's a similar thing, it's edible vegetable parchment pet bedding. So again, it's an edible sort of nesting material, but these are a bit thicker strips and I just find if they're mixed together with those two, they make quite a nice nesting material. Um, and they were again a pound or 99p, I'm not too sure. Um, but that's what they look like, it's just strips and um, this is fine for them because if they put it in their cheeks or anything, it just biodegrades. So that's good for them. And um, then I just got these make your own foam animals because um, they were only £1.50 and I thought they'd be quite fun. Um, they're for ages 4 plus which I'm pretty sure I come under. But um, there was a little tortoise as well which I thought was really sweet and that could sit on top of Sheldon's tortoise table. But it was only £1.50 like I said and it looked quite fun. <laughs> I think it's probably a bit young for me but there you go. I then got these corn rattle rollers which I'm not sure of the exact price, I think they were about £2.25 but they didn't send me an invoice with my order so I'm sort of making up a little bit as I go along <laughs> but um, there's one of these in Gizmo and Jafar's and also the bunnies really really like this so I got one for each bunny and one for each set of guinea pigs um, because they really really like them and it's got corn inside and this sort of, I think it's corn husk there which um, they really enjoy and they can roll it around and throw it up in the air and stuff so I thought I'd pick up some more of them. I then got some more of these as well, I think they were £1.25 or something so they were really inexpensive and so they're by Board and Breaker and it's Corn Leaf Book and Pencils and I've bought these a few times before and Snoopy and Ollie don't really bother with them much but Gizmo and Jafar absolutely love them and they eat the whole thing so I thought I'd pick up some more of them because if I find something that they really really like then I keep getting it because um, it's obviously good to help keep their teeth down. I then bought two of these again one for the rabbits and one for the guinea pigs and it's dandelion and green oat for rabbits, guinea pigs and chinchillas and this is my guinea pigs absolute favourite treat and also the bunnies really really like it so I'd really recommend it. I think it was about £2.20 for one bag. So it was quite expensive, but as it's their favourite treat, 
although um, this doesn't look as green and fresh as it normally does, it looks a bit stalkier and it doesn't look like it's got quite as many nutrients in this batch but again it's probably because it's been pants weather in the UK so nothing's quite as fresh and green as it normally is but I picked up those anyway because I really really like them. This isn't very exciting but I just picked up one of these snappy tub things and I think it's a pound and I just thought it'd be really handy for keeping some treats in. I've got quite a lot already but I thought I'd pick up another one. You can never have too many tubs and things and it seems quite airtight so yeah quite pleased with that. I then got these veg nibble sticks and again Gizmo and Jafar really like these and I'll probably give one to the bunnies as well but um, it says it's for all small animals and it's just these three little chews and they're wood with sort of corn husky stuff at the top so there's a carrot, a corn and I'm not too sure what that's meant to be but um, I think that was about £1.99 I want to say I'm not too sure again, I don't have the invoice but it was quite reasonable especially because you get three in there I then got these carrot and corn for small animals and they're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be so I'll probably give them to the buddies, ooh, to the bunnies <laughs> because um, I don't think the guinea pigs would ever munch their way through them and they're quite expensive but now I can see why because if you can see next to my hand they're quite big and um, they're this sort of, I'm not too sure what they're made of <laughs> they've got like this corn husk top and um, it looks like it would be really fun to choose so I think I'll give that to the bunnies I think it was about 2 99 something like that I'm not terribly sure I then got some fruit nibble sticks and um, Gizmo and Jafar have got a couple of these in their cage at the moment and they're their favourite treats which um, whenever I move them they'll carry them back into their little piglos and sit on them which I think is really really sweet but they do get weed on quite a bit so I needed to throw them out really so I got them some new ones I then got these 20 gnawing goodies which I thought would be a lot bigger than they are I thought they'd be the right size to sort of thread on their kebabs but they are actually some of them very very tiny so they'll be hamster sized but um, they were only a pound I think so and there is 20 of them so I can't really complain but they are a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be but um, there we go some of the bigger ones might fit on the kebab but I'll give it a go and lastly I got these two bags of Timothy hay for rabbits and rodents and I was going to get four but I thought I'd just get one for upstairs with the pigs and one for downstairs with the buns just because I haven't had much luck with hay recently um, as I was blabbering on about earlier so um, I haven't actually checked these yet to see if they're damp but hopefully they'll be alright because I'm sick of chasing people up about damp hay but it doesn't actually look very green, it looks quite strawy which I'm a bit disappointed with because it is hard to find Timothy hay in this country in my opinion and um, yeah it doesn't really look like Timothy hay, it looks a bit like straw so I'm a bit disappointed with that, I was hoping it would be greener but I'll see what it's like and hopefully it's not damp because that would be a pain the guinea pig's really really cute though looks kind of like gizmo <laughs> but there we go and that's everything I got there I did get a lot more than I meant to initially but these are things that I go through quite quickly um, and the hamster bedding and stuff is always useful and they're mainly chews I didn't buy them any treats because they don't really need treats they just need they do need things to keep their teeth down so I thought I'd get a few more so there we go I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you would like to say anything about any of these products then let me know I'd love to know if you tried some of them and what you think of them because um, there's a couple of things I've never tried in here before and thank you for watching please comment, rate and subscribe 
and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! So my boyfriend and I had a go at making the foam animals that came from the Wilco's thing and they were a lot bigger than I thought actually. They were only £1.50 and I thought it'd be quite fun and they're actually quite hard to stick all the things on and poke the things in the holes because it says it's for age 4 plus but I struggled <laughs> and this is one I made and it's a pink tortoise and this is the one my boyfriend made and he did customise it a little bit by giving it eyelashes and a little tongue which I thought was really funny so he was a lot more creative with his so um, let me know in the comment section who you think won <laughs> who made the better animal Gizmo's being really funny oh they're popcorn in and here's Snoopy and Ollie I don't know what Snoopy's doing <laughs> But thanks for watching. Thumbs up for the pink tortoise.